greeting cancer welcome into your money messages for today thanks for tuning in these are tarot card messages for zodiac saying cancer all the best to you your first card is five of wands all right so drama chaos this is something unbelievable or disbelief something that you won't believe um well listen hold your stance um if you feel like you're going to be tested today put through a phase of our feeling of trial tribulation anxiety keep yourself grounded keep your feet grounded the battle is tough but you wear the scars you're going to be victoring over your adversities or adversaries you're not going to be playing a victim you're not going to be influenced to be what you don't want to be you're going to be influenced by a deeper internal knowing of yourself when you stand in your rights like this today you're going to be creating a great shift that your voice will be heard right enlightenment card you and then you will become you will begin discovery you will begin to see cancer that you're not the only one and your light shines and the, more, the greater you stand in your truth, in your presence, you're going to see other lights shining around you. And so there's going to be a connection, a unity of a light field that is standing. And so whatever this is, just hold your stance, Cancer. Let's see what it's going to be. Family energies. Watch out for any drama with unhealed wounds in your family. Um, be polite is the energy. Don't give in to feelings of fear, hopelessness, and rejection and turmoil because that is not the truth of who you are. Someone wanted to rock your boat. Destiny card. I feel like you may think someone's been trying to steal your destiny, aggravate you, rub you the wrong way, call you out of your name. But that's their perception. The most high perception of you and your perception of yourself is the greatest. And in all truth and respect, you are doing beautifully. You're doing wonderfully. But norm, uh, your, your ancestors confirm and affirm and reassure you of that. You're about to find inheritance and treasures. You are inheriting great riches. So be patient, mind your business on this journey. Keep some things a secret unto yourself as well. Because your dues are being paid to you. Because you kept going down the right path and listening to that inner calling. Have faith on this journey. Mysticism. Yeah, people may judge you outside, but there are so much great things happening to you within and in the spiritual realm that some people cannot see the things that you are doing. But most I see. The angels, the spirit guides see. There is coming a time where you will be coming out of isolation and looking and dressing and feeling and acting, talking, being your best self. You will become like one of the most beautiful living inspiration ever, like a butterfly. That's why you've been cocooning. And they don't know exactly. They gossip, they talk, but they don't know what you're forming to be. And most people are trying to form themselves and shape themselves from outside narrative. You are forming yourself from inside out. You're doing the inner work. Most I is so proud of you. And miracles are happening. Breakthroughs, beautiful transformations, heralding in. <laughs> right? Your justice is what I'm getting. You weren't complacent. There were times when you gave up certain things. You made sacrifices. And today is the day that your sacrifices are being rewarded. Today is the day for your awards, your rewards, for your discipline, for sacrificing some things for whatever this is going to be is the reward for it there were times when other people fought against you didn't believe in you suffered you you know but and you bared it all today is the day for you and this is not this is this is something that you earn this is um you give you get what you put in like you reap what you sow this is the investment in self you've made and into the universe yeah, and so it springs forth your joy, well-being, and prosperity. I feel like you won't have to work hard again. You won't have to do much hard work. You'll, you'll just, you'll, it's time for your harvest. It's time for you to know that the seeds you've planted are becoming fertile in the earth, and they're on their own doing their own work now. Not that you should not care, 
but now you don't have to be toiling so much because these seeds that you've planted are in their prosperous era and you're, you're and the, you own these things and you claim these things and they are yours so you know when they become fruitful they are yours to reap that's what's coming up for you okay now you can focus on other things healing your well-being your energy your spirit your family your womb your mate your love life you can talk to yourself, whisper to yourself, light candles around yourself, create harmony, divine feminine, masculine energies around you. Go out, inspire your community more, live more, bask more, spend more time outside, you know, but from a place within your divine self. They wanted to confuse you. I hear drip, but that is not going to happen. You may be dealing with water, preserve or it's conserve water preserving water but i feel like you're in your era of abundance pure abundance and prosperity explosion expansion energy growth things springing forth seven seven energies you're in your era of miracle you reap what you so balance you are getting out what you put in other people are getting out what they put in but yours look different so they may be thinking that you are doing something off or different, but your time is different from their time. Continue being like you, your justice. Trickery. When people don't understand you, they try to come toward you to convince you that no, 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 you must turn this down or do this another way. But you know who you are. You're like a Shaolin monk energy. You you know how to be by yourself, trod your own road, think your own thoughts. All right, But then the trickery and the pests and the nuisance come in. To ask you, hey, you, why you think you can walk here this lonely road here? Whatever, however. You know, those, move <laughs> those karate movies. So you have to discipline yourself and others sometimes and have fun too in life and play and forgive and heal and eat well and love and know when to fast and when to bask and all these things. Yeah, a lot of good things are coming toward you as the Empress energy here. You are, like I say, ver ver vertile. <laughs> you are very fertile. You are very virile. You are abundant. You're prospering. Money is coming into your life. This is like good magic and good spells, good karma, good energy. A rejection phase of your life was a protection phase. Remember that. A lot of healing is coming. It's about your perception of self and of your connection with divine universe that you know whatever is transpiring in yourself is for your best self. Your healing, your restoration, Genesis energy, your divine connection to the ocean, to the spirit, to your memory, your reconnection with your soul family, your, your soul love, and your wealth. Your rights, your inheritances, your life, your real life. Not the outside play because right now you are changing. You're making great shifts. You're changing the, the, the story. Right? You have a lot of money in your pockets too. I'm getting Cancerian. You may be like a fairy and your ancestors just want to keep blessing you and showing you more and more things on your path to reap and to receive and to, to be blessed by more rewards. And your rewards are coming in quickly. Like on your path, you find some jewels. Then two foot down the line, there's more. And there's more again. Because it's like your ancestors are so happy. It's like a grandmother spirit that just loves to give you. So, so soon you, you're going to have to say, Grandma, it's okay. <laughs> she just loves to give you these things. Your blessings. And so some spirit guides are happy or grateful that you keep finding your alignment with your true self. They're happy that you're in your league, in your era, and they're excited for where you are to become, to to be, to be um to to ascend to, or to your destination, or to arrive at, <laughs> okay, or to begin. And you're being led back to a place in your dreamlands, right, where you can dream and create because there's so much for you to do that they're be preparing you for. Right, you may become a musician, you may be speaking news or speaking truth, but you're arriving in a great place. Some of you may be connected to the goddess Asset, or is it Asset? I think miracles, some miraculous changes coming. You may get a bus, a bus ticket, a ticket, a bus fare, a transport somewhere that's gonna lift your spirit up, okay? Make you feel healing and well being. Like I say, workaholic, this is something you deserve. 
you're sent turning in your coins you're turning in your pain and turning it into a pleasurable life experience like i'm telling you a lot of people don't understand this look the sun card is next this is so amazing this today you're celebrating yes because things are turning in your favor things are turning up things are turning around things are turning out better than you thought better than you expected um more more like you want it to be with the sun card is the energy of abundance being connected to the divine universe with the fertile card of empress you're very productive prosperous you're positive beautiful earth angel essential person on earth most eyes walking through you like i say your ancestors are so happy to have you alive and aligned and awake and um, speaking the truth. And truth is coming out about your family or some somewhere that you live or how you live, right? Some drama. But the angels, the energy of this reading, Cancer, is that we're giving more attention to your prosperity, your healthy state. Because I feel like you're coming from a place where you never used to really always feel like this. So now you're focused more on taking this into the new energy. You're going to be celebrating, yes, a huge celebration, like a huge, you're pulling something off that's so successful. All right, this is a money reading. Four of Swords. You may hang back. Four of Swords or hold back or you've been fasting or you've been meditating or praying, um sleeping that's an energy for you that's gonna brighten up your day i think you know a lot of things too you're very um wise yeah sensible creative intelligent um people may want to come around and work with you here i'm seeing with this three of pentacles card for sure i feel like maybe family members wanting to work with you because there's something to your name you could be building your own brand all right, our jurist, our jurisdiction. There's something about maybe your body, your property, your state that someone wants to come around and work with because I feel like they see pure value in it, potential and, pos and possibilities. Okay, that's what I am seeing. Someone may show up to speak with you today. Um, you're also confirming how much money you're earning, how much money you're making daily, how much money you want to make. All right, but in the service that you are giving, knowing your worth, yeah, prayer. You're gonna be like because you're you're more you're financially stable and you're like an established person. Like you have um income or a source of income, right? That is stable, grounded. It's a business that you probably kick off now and it's it's growing. You may be selling products like hair growth products and how to how to do this products or how to move this off of your skin kind of products and how to level up kind of products. Even if it is digital products you're selling, you're making a lot of money. You're just becoming known. You're having your own brand. You're setting yourself up. And this is gleeful and thrilling for most high in your spirits. And you're giving back. You're, you're in a position that you've always wanted to feel like you're in. A boss-like energy, right? You could be hiring people. People also are watching you, wanting to hire you. Like I said, this is a, a judge or some modeling agency that's watching your performance. Maybe the things you're posting online, they're taking note of your gifts, your talents, your attributes, right? How you speak, how you know, how you live, how you grow, how you eat. Someone is paying a lot of attention to you. And um, or a lot of people are wanting to work with you, partner with you. So I feel they're very hot right now, attractive, on point, and getting a lot of attention and a lot of work coming in for you that is setting you up to be great. Destiny card, right? And um, you're, you're not even afraid of speaking the truth right now or being yourself. You may be considering certain offers and like, not, not deciding to go with some of the offers, but whatever it is, it's bringing you back to a phase or a place of feeling great. Um, like you're a supplier of service. You're needed. You're in a position to give. Um, you're, you're a hot on the market. That energy in demand is the vibration. You're eight of cups. And, you know, even though you are so in demand today, you're so beautifully calm and peaceful. And even though you're serving, you're so full of yourself too. And that's what makes you such an inspiration. And it's still what 
makes people so attracted to you and want to come in your energy because you may be doing so much but you're still so kind and so sweet and soft and caring and still so trusting of yourself your emotions you're not being swayed or disturbed or disheveled you know or frustrated you're still very balanced and peaceful and loving so you have a lot of space for people that like to see you watch you work behold you you know spend time on you spend their money with you because you provide this wonderful amazing service or the time that you give there's something about your father and i feel in your love reading we're probably going to see the emperor energy because there's a divine connection i'm feeling that is in the way for you we have the moon card is the last card so the moon card and the four of swords is like hold your ground know your worth you don't have to say everything and anything sometimes nothing you know you don't have to prove something to someone you know what you know already cancerian you're not confused so someone may be coming to sell you a story with this moon card and you're listening but you already know the truth you don't always have to defend yourself or feel afraid just know that things are working out for you we have a mother and a father energy sun moon vibration here um one of them is gonna is telling you the truth and one of them is guilty all right that's what i'm feeling so trust your instincts maybe go with your own self right now because you're leaving certain things behind certain ideas certain narratives that are not serving you you're not being a victim anymore you're not going to be taken for granted you're not going to be selling yourself out exactly soulmate you're on your soul mission and these people they know it now as you i feel you're graduating and pulling yourself away into more of a loving connection and more peace harmony balance a sense of self and a service so you may start your own business something that's of your own or yeah, something that is of your own soul your heart something that you've been waiting for be patient with yourself one step at a time pray along the way and it all is working out in your favor take a break meditate is the energy today sleep um you yeah so so much love all this well and all is within you bye